Hello everyone, um, yeah, I am wearing my Milwaukee Bucks hat thanks to someone that gave me it as a gift, so happy about that. So you're probably going to see this for like the next five minutes. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, I just got done watching the Royal Rumble, the very first one. Um, I'm going to talk about the um, matches and results and my opinion about it. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Ravishing Rick Rude. Ricky had won by DQ. In the close of the match, I think um, Rude probably accidentally hit the referee or whatever. I just missed that part. I came back when they, I guess they were still fighting and they, I guess Rick Rude left the ring and he thought he won it and they were saying that Ricky Steamboat won by disqualification. Okay, Dino Bravo did a bench press challenge, um, and I guess like he's supposed to have a make a new record with Jay Z the Body Ventura kind of helped him a little bit, but he did. It would think the it was like six hundred and ninety something. I don't think they did the seven hundred one, but um, they probably did. But like I said, I probably like missed the last seconds of it. Hmm. Something that just caught, that was just interesting in um, this part on um, the ladies tag to title match. It was like I knew they had a ladies tag title match in a long time ago. Just never knew I get to witness it firsthand off of that. But good idea, and we'll just go from um, there. What? I think it's kind of one of the things they should bring back because they got a lot of, um, you know, divas and whatnot, so why not? Okay. They had ladies championship match, uh, two out of three falls. They had the Glamour Girls with Jimmy Hart versus the Jumping Bomb Angels. Um... It was a lot of grappling in this match, so it's like one of those things you would not expect in a women's match out of the WWE, but this match was an exception because it was a pretty good job with the, um, you know, a little bit of the high flying and a lot of grappling and body slams and all that stuff, So, which is good and which is something that some of these divas needs to do today, but we'll see. Um, Jumping Bond Angels are the new tag team ladies champions. Um, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant contract signing. Um, I guess it was some um, show that was going to go on on February 5th of that year in 88. So they had that in I guess they wanted to create some drama between the two or just try to hype up the match for that. So I guess that's why they use that segment. Um, the very first Royal Rumble match, it's, I didn't notice, I thought it was always been 30, but it started at 20. Of course, I can see why that it started at 20 because I guess it's something they wanted to try out. So. And I saw Jim Duggan did won the right for Royal Rumble, so it wasn't like all oh, day whoever wins the Royal Rumble they get a title shot. That wasn't um the case just yet. Um they had a tag team match two out of the three falls, the Islander versus the Young Stallions. Um the Islanders won two straight victories. So and I guess that was the main event of the evening. So, how will I rate this um, very first Royal Rumble? Um, I thought it would be bigger than I expected, but it wasn't. So, like I said, some matches caught my eye, and there was a couple of, of course, the segments that should not be on here. Um, and they should have had a WWE Championship match in my opinion, but they didn't, so 
I will have to rate this one because I think the first two matches with the ladies tag match and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Ravishing Rick Rue I think those two matches kind of save the show so I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10 just only because like for it to be it's like you know for being a debut of uh, you know doing the Royal Rumble they should have eh, as you can see 6 out of 10 <laughs> well like I said I think those two matches in the Royal Rumble itself kind of saved the show but I don't know I think they could have did better and but then yeah, I know they was trying it out but that's just what I think about it just overall um like I said the first match with Steamboat and Rick Rude, that would have been the match of the night right behind the um, Royal Rumble itself. But um, that's just my opinion about that. Um, so let me know what y'all think. Just make your comments on the bottom and we'll just we'll talk about it. We'll chat about it or whatnot. Or look for me on Facebook or Wrestling Fan Speak Out group. Check that out. Um, also, WrestlingFanSpeakOut.com. Check that out as well for like updated events and news all around the world. And also, you can follow us on Twitter. You can also subscribe to our videos on YouTube. So, just go ahead, comment on the bottom, and let me know what you think.